why React is so hard? In fact, when I started coding, when I started with React, I found that the same issue as you did. I found like React was super hard, that I couldn't understand that and would never be able to understand React or work with it or create with it like a real world project and land my first job. Well, in fact, that's actually happened to me as it did with you because yeah, a lot of developers including me, I was a beginner and I got started with React and I found this frustrated library making my life a little bit more uh, harder than it was pretty much and it just like landed on the same spot as you did. Why React is hard? Why I can't le learn React? So yeah, in that particular video, we're going to be explaining why React is hard and I'm going to give you advices that you can overcome this difficulty of React and how you can learn React and become better with React. In fact, you will be able to actually land your first job just by like following these advices that I did and I followed this pretty much exact advices to level up my React experience and get better and comfortable with React and learn many jobs that I did before and create many applications like real world applications in fact to pretty much like prove the point. And currently React is actually one of the most wanted libraries and pretty much UI libraries out there or technologies that a lot of employers and a lot of people are looking to learn and master and create projects with. It's super hot and has been created by Facebook as you all know since you came to that video in particular. But the more important here is actually newbie developers like her just getting started with React intend to pretty much mistakenly say that React is a framework. In fact, React is just like a library and all it does, it does actually UI create interfaces. So it allows you to pretty much create UI interfaces the right way. So this is all it does behind the scenes. There's no magical things. There's no like HTTP requests or uh, request API and there are no dependency injection as Angular does or something like that. It is just a library that does UI management and state manipulation pretty much. So that's all about React. It is just simply a library. So it is actually completely normal to have such issues and difficulties understanding and mastering the React and knowing everything about React or just like you can't actually figure out what is going on behind the scenes. Even though you are watching tutorials or like following up like written tutorials, you still can't actually figure out what is happening. Especially if you are actually getting into web development, like a new to the web development world and yeah, a lot of things in web development generally doesn't make any sense till you get over it. So yeah, what is the problem with React? Or why cannot learn React and what's my issues? So here actually I'm just gonna save, give you a couple of reasons why you can actually understand React and a couple of advices that helped me a lot overcome this issue and become better and much more comfortable with React and just like learn everything about that huge and gigantic library. Poor JavaScript knowledge or outdated knowledge is actually one of the biggest things that are going to set you back and don't let you just overcome this React thing and just not going to leave you understand how things pretty much work. Well, yeah, because having a decent knowledge, having decent background in JavaScript and having all the expertise about a JavaScript and how it operates in a basic uh, level, all of that is going to help you overcome React because in the beginning, React is just simply a JavaScript library. So the mother in here is actually a JavaScript and you, if you don't have any that knowledge, that decent knowledge about JavaScript and you're just like, you haven't spent much time practicing on JavaScript, you haven't created decent and as many projects as you require to fulfill that void in order to be able to be comfortable with React. So JavaScript is actually a necessary level or a necessary step to take before going into React. So all you do, is just go back into JavaScript world and just pick up a project, create some color pickers or image slideshow or something like that just to practice your JavaScript expertise and become better with JavaScript, understand basic knowledge of JavaScript, how manipulation works in JavaScript, variables and basic stuff in JavaScript can help you a lot achieve what you want with React. Another issue is DOM manipulation. So the DOM or the document objects model is actually a huge aspect to learn before jumping into React. As we all know, browsers or web pages are empowered by the DOM. What makes it possible to actually render stuff here and there on HTML and put different tags or just use that CSS thing or put that JavaScript code in there and manipulate the whole nodes and that in here and there. So yeah, it all depends on the DOM or the document objects model. And if you don't have that decent knowledge, if you haven't that knowledge of being able to manipulate the DOM and understand fully 
over the elements and nodes and all the hierarchy of the whole elements of the DOM, of course, how they are hired and everything about that is actually going to give you hard times, of course, learning React, especially when it comes to advanced topics and intermediate topics when it comes to rendering using portals and different like higher order components and stuff like that. So when it depends to the DOM rendering and manipulating DOM or even doing side effects in like React and hooks and stuff like that, yes, you are going to have hard times learning or understanding how react operates so here the solution is pretty simple all you need to do is just go back into the dom the javascript world or the vanilla javascript world pick up a, your project create a simple index.jf javascript and of course just go ahead and start doing simple dom manipulation from just like adding a simple text to the body to removing different nodes from the body of course and manipulating the header the footer adding elements here and there and, and, and stuff like that so this is basically all you need to do just have a better understanding of the dom and the actual basic methods of the document objects model on the browser api of course another thing actually is actually esx features or ecmascript version 6 features and what i mean by this esx is actually a version of javascript well a lot of people doesn't actually call it a version of javascript because it made up huge and radical changes to the JavaScript world we knew before. So yeah, it actually a new version of JavaScript that brought radical changes to the browser history, to the JavaScript world. And the most important part about it here is actually React existed because of that version, ES6. You probably have heard of this like here and there, tutorials, uh, articles, medium posts, everyone is actually talking about ES6 till now. And since it's called ES6, it has been released on 2015 so still people a lot of them talk about it and a lot of developers that can actually know about this ESA so it doesn't even know what the changes or the features it brought to the table yes react is actually built on the ES6 JavaScript version and that means you need to have a decent knowledge you need to know all the features and master all the features of ES6 from the new module system um, like the AMD systems and stuff and of course you need to know like the decent and the basic to the advanced JavaScript data structures which means classes objects how you manipulate them uh, of course you need to know how to pretty much have decent manipulation of classes because everything in react depends a lot on classes for the older versions and stuff so yes of course with functional like functions and arrow functions all of those means a lot to know so if you don't have this decent knowledge yes go ahead and take a look even you can take a look on different tutorials of esx and you, you can pretty much easily go into that esx version and understand the basic knowledge or the basic functions and methods add into that version and afterwards you can get comfortable and much better actually understanding why react is so hard and you're gonna have this clear mind that react didn't become that hard because you know basically everything going on behind us and everything goes behind the scenes of course and under the hood and the last issue or problem a lot of people intend to underestimate and doesn't actually give a clue about it is actually getting stuck into tutorials hell yeah that is actually serious and a lot of people had this burnout things because of like getting or being stuck on tutorials hell and what does that mean is actually you continuously keep watching tutorials without doing any practice and that's super bad for you you will not actually go ahead any any actually further or something like that because you're just gonna stuck in these tutorials watching tutorial after tutorial having no clue what's going on without practicing so the actual good, good point about that you need of course watching tutorials is actually quite good and decent thing but don't overwatch tutorials that's what i mean you have to like watch I don't know, cool shoes about React having basic stuff explained or about JavaScript. Then afterwards, after finishing this basic series of like 20 episodes or something each, and you just like simply pick up a code editor, like Visual Studio Code or something or Sublime, and you start coding. You start putting your knowledge into practice. And just like create simple applications from image sliders, uh, applications to stuff like to-do list applications and simple blog posts on websites, or just like a simple rubbish website that just does the job obviously and you can actually put things you've learned throughout these tutorials into your practice without just keeping continuously watching these video tutorials without having any clue what's going on 
and that's actually quite bad. So always make sure to practice after you watch video tutorials or after reading articles. Just go ahead and practice the knowledge you've watched, of course, you've learned throughout all these courses and stuff, and just put into practice and try to know what you've learned and what you did not. And of course, throughout the process, you can Google stuff, you can go to Stack Overflow, and yes, this is actually the learning career or the learning path. So avoid stuck in tutorials hell. And yeah, so I just like wanted to give a point about React because a lot of people intend to reach me and say like, why React is so hard, I'm finding difficulties learning React and many, many other things and many topics covering that particular thing about React. So yeah, I try to just give you advices that helped me a lot during my career because I had some issues in here when I started learning React and getting started with it. So hopefully guys, this helped you a lot um, during your career, of course and just better getting decent knowledge or better understanding of how React works and the whole surrounding ecosystem. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys actually have found out the video is actually helpful. And of course, enjoyed watching me here, just sitting down and shedding chat to you. Um, yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. As I said before, make sure to subscribe because I find a lot of you watching videos not subscribed. So yeah, that would be really a pleasure. Just like push that button and yeah, give us a like. I'd just like to know if you really like this video. But without further ado, without further say, catch you guys in the next video tutorials. Adios.